Welcome to Evening Prayers for Friday the 16th of April 2021. Our theme for this evening is the question, who or what are the angels in your life? Let us pray. Awesome God, we may be rooted to earth but our souls soar upwards in this sacred space. Walls, Ceilings and computer screens melt away in your all-consuming fire and we gather with the angels to praise your holy name. Lord, we bless you now and always. Your praise is always on our lips for you listen when we call you and you deliver us when we are afraid. Your angels surround us with assurance when we call out in terror. Taste and see that the Lord is good. We are happy to put our trust in God. I oh, give thanks to the Lord who sends his angels with sure words. Faithful God, you direct your followers to take the road from successful events to challenges that break new ground. You strengthen those who journey in the expectation that you will provide opportunities for service. Your presence supports the humble who wait patiently to hear your whisper. Come near. Use us, Lord, for your glory, right here, right now, and in any place, at any time. This we pray. Amen. Father, we confess that we are attached to what we can see and touch. We like the world around us with all the colours and textures of life. And we fear for our world to be shaken. We fear to lose any part of it. We cling to this life because it is the only one we know. But you promise us another life, Lord, in a better world. And so with all the angels of heaven, we say your will be done. Amen. Well, we're about to enter a reading which on the face of it makes very little sense, but please do bear with it. It comes from the book of Daniel and sets out the preparation that Daniel makes before receiving his final vision from God. We've seen earlier this week how Daniel is holy and his faith envelops his life. And now as the book has progressed, Daniel is at the point where God sends visions for him and for the people. This vision is set out in chapters 10 to 12 of Daniel and our reading is at the very beginning of it from chapter 10. So earlier in the week we saw how Daniel had gained favour with earthly powers because of his devotion to his faith which filled every part of his life. He dedicated his life to being humble before God and bringing everything to God in prayer. And previous chapters show us that now Daniel was appealing for his people, for God to forgive their sins and return them from exile to their homeland. He was confessing the sins of the people, he was mourning, and in the previous chapter he's been fasting. And the timing of this set out in the book of Daniel suggests that he's doing this over the period of Passover, where everyone else is celebrating God rescuing them from slavery in Egypt. Daniel is not celebrating. Our passage has lots of images which are recognisable as typical images in apocalyptic writings, those which look towards the end of time. Tonight we're not focusing on these images, so simply take them in as part of the story. What I'd like us to pay attention to is Daniel's feeling of weakness in this story. Some of it would have been physical and mental from extreme fasting and praying continuously for the people. But some of the weakness is just his feeling of complete unworthiness to be talking with God's messengers. But what we see in this reading is that each time Daniel becomes overwhelmed, the angel 
he is with gives him strength and the ability to do what he is physically unable to do himself. And you'll see that this reading builds to a wonderful final line. Do not fear, greatly beloved. You are safe. Be strong and courageous. Daniel chapter 10 verses 2 to 19. At that time, I, Daniel, had been mourning for three weeks. I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine had entered my mouth. And I had not anointed myself at all for the full three weeks. On the 24th day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, that is the Tigris, I looked up and saw a man clothed in linen, with a belt of gold from up has around his waist. His body was like beryl, his face like lightning his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and the sound of his words like the roar of a multitude. I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. The people who were with me did not see the vision, though a great trembling fell upon them, and they fled and hid themselves. So I was left alone to see this great vision, my strength left me and my complexion grew deathly pale and I retained no strength. Then I heard the sound of his words and when the sound of his words were heard, I fell into a trance, face to the ground. But then a hand touched me and roused me to my hands and knees and he said to me, Daniel, greatly beloved. Pay attention to the words that I am going to speak to you. Stand on your feet, for I have now been sent to you. So while he was speaking this word to me, I stood up trembling. He said to me, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before God, your words have been heard. And I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia opposed me 21 days, so Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I left him there with the prince of the kingdom of Persia and have come to help you understand what is to happen to your people at the end of days. For there is a further vision for those days. While he was speaking these words to me, I turned my face towards the ground and was speechless. Then one in human form touched my lips and I opened my mouth to speak and said to the one who stood before me, My Lord, because of the vision such pains have come upon me that I retain no strength. How can my Lord's servant talk with my Lord? For I am shaking, no strength remains in me and no breath is left in me. Again, one in human form touched me and strengthened me. He said, do not fear, greatly beloved. You are safe. Be strong and courageous. And when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Lord, let me speak, for you have strengthened me. That line, do not fear, greatly beloved, you are safe, be strong and courageous. Daniel is ready to do God's work, not because of his own strength, but because even when the people he was with had deserted him, the angels remained and strengthened him. He was not doing God's work alone. Who or what are the angels in your life? The ones who strengthen you to do God's work. The ones who make you feel courageous. The ones who believe in you for who you are. Let us pray. God who sends angels into the world as messengers carrying your love. Give us eyes to see their presence in the times when we are frightened. Give us ears to hear their message in the times when we are sad and give us hearts to spread their glory in the times when we can wait on others in your name.
Amen. Our next prayer is the hymn, Ev Angel Voices Ever Singing Round Thy Throne of Light. with the responsibility of protecting and nourishing new life, often in difficult circumstances, the angel of the Lord says, do not be afraid. To those who labour in ordinary jobs or who live with the bleakness of unemployment or the fear of job loss, those who seem the least likely to hear angels and see glory, Receive the message from the angel of the Lord who says, do not be afraid. To those in power, if only they would listen and learn to love the common good more than their own security, God will surely say, do not be afraid. And to all of us, the weak, the worried, the harassed, the overburdened, if we will take a moment to look at the light and hear the music and be blessed, the angel of the Lord says, do not be afraid. Amen. And so uh, sending out prayer. May God, who sent his spirit when his son was baptised, send his angels into our world. May God, who sent his angels to wait on Jesus in the desert, send his angels into our world. And may God, who calls us all to be messengers to others, send his angels into our world. Amen.